Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, we are gonna be going over the daily challenges, so let's go ahead and get started. Now if this is something that you guys wanna see each and every single day, I do do these live every single day, and I actually go over them with you guys, not just showing you guys locations, but actually doing them and seeing what random things we can actually find along the way. All right, so the daily challenges consist of upgrading our belt buckle, which is really simple. We just have to visit pretty much any tailor or wardrobe. So we can either go to our camp, tailor, or like a general store. We do have to drive a train today, which that is probably one of the, one of the more lame uh, daily challenges ever. So not only do we have to just you know find a train, we have to actually drive it, which driving a train is actually very boring in this game. So at least we do have additions to the train down in New Austin at least. So at least that's a good thing. Uh, don't reach high hostility within one game day. Uh, we do have three player kills from cover in showdown, so we have to have three of those. And it looks like any showdown thing would be fine. Uh, we have one player kill from the hip in showdown, and then one showdown or three showdown series played. So hopefully during those three matches that we have to play in showdowns, we can easily get the player kills from cover and also the player kill from the hip. So we just have total of four of them in general. And last but not least, we do have Whitetail Deer skinned, four of those. So a lot of uh, showdown related things. So if you guys are definitely into PVP, that's gonna be really, really good for you guys. But uh, stocking your camp, if you guys are a trader Whitetail Deer, pretty easy to do. Unfortunately, we'd have to skin them instead of just killing them. So that's rather unfortunate. So we're only gonna be able to donate their, their pelts and whatnot. Um, and then obviously, reaching don't reach high hostility with the one game day that should be pretty easy we're actually almost approaching one game day as of right now anyway and then we just need to find a train and then update our belt buckle um the showdown shouldn't be too terribly hard to do um it's considering that you have to play three anyway so i'm not going to necessarily do it on camera for you guys but uh you know just just play a few showdown and just I mean you have to play three anyway and then hopefully you can get the the three from cover and just do your best just focus on those like specifically and have a and I have a lot of fun doing it don't really worry about what happens during that thing but that's fine so uh, it's gonna be rather interesting of a daily challenge video to be completely honest because there's not really a whole lot going on um, we just have to run to a tailor upgrade our belt buckle find a couple deer and really that's about it now i do need to actually um restock some of my my ammo here i have only got four and five pieces so i'm gonna have to stop at a general store or a post office unfortunately so let's just kind of make our way um through here and see what uh see what we can find well, all right, guys, so I made it to my camp, and actually, I already restocked some of my ammo. I was definitely out of it. Uh, long story short, had to deal with some griefers, and I probably will make a little video on that because I was told that I was the griefer, and you guys are going to see in a future video that I was not the one that started it. So it's going to be a little bit long because you guys need to see that, it was, that I truly did not do anything at all. And they tried to blame me for starting the entire fight, but I was the one that was just standing around. So anyway, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I hate griefers with a passion. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our wardrobe. We actually just need to update our belt buckle. Uh, so we got, well, actually, we got a new buckle here. Which one is new? Oh, Elite Bounty Hunter. I guess we could do that one. Let's look. Let's go ahead and equip that one. So once we get that all done, we got our point two gold, and we did that at our camp. You can, like I said, you can do that at a general store or a tailor. It doesn't really matter. Um, whatever you have access to and whatever you're closest to. Um, again, I did pick up a few different things here at the camp, like some ammo and whatnot. Uh, really, the only thing that we have to, I mean, we have to go out and find a train. Don't reach high hostility within one game day, which should not be a problem for me. Actually, I'm surprised I haven't hit that yet. Maybe it hasn't quite uh, quite a full day yet. It definitely should be. And then we have to obviously do the showdown, and then we have to kill four white tier deal deer still. So, And I've had no like random anything happen, especially I was way up in the mountains before. And now, yeah, I've had absolutely nothing. So... 
However, my camp is set up here in the Heartland Overflow. And I do want to find myself a deer because I feel like we're gonna find, obviously, there's access to a lot of deer and other animals around this area. So we're gonna definitely see what we can find, but it seems like it's pretty limited as of right now. I see horses at the uh, heartland or the overflow, but I'm not seeing, oh, I see a camp and I just ran over a quail. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm trying to look out there to see if there is a deer. I see a red fox. What is that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that, that is a deer. I see a deer. We're gonna target it right now. And look at that. That was a nice clean shot. I wonder if it's a three star. Is it a three star? It is a three star. Fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and save this pelt. And then we're gonna definitely uh, donate that to Crips and uh, you know, get that material supply up a little bit more and see what we can do. I just have to find three more of these, so I guess it's time to do a little bit of hunting. All right, we should be getting pretty close. Oh, there it is. We got our distance traveled by train, 0.2 gold and 200 XP. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of this train here actually in just a moment and call it done. So we can actually go ahead and stop this train right here before we actually hit that road. And there we go, beautiful. I did get a wanted level a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't affect my high hostility for the day. I don't think I've actually completed that one yet. How is that? How am I? How, how have I not gotten that? Hmm. Maybe it was because I had to defend myself against some griefers earlier. I guess that's always possibility, but that's alright. We're going to be playing for a while, so we don't have to really worry about that. I do need to find myself three more white-tailed deer, and I'm actually going to... Where is my horse? There it is. Uh, we're going to go to the Blue Water Marsh area. Is I think that's where I'm going to go. Uh, just a little bit north of San Denis. I would have I rather stayed in the overflow, because that was really, really close to my camp. But it is a little bit of a jaunt back to that uh, area. And there's usually a lot of uh, white-tailed deer in Blue Water Marsh anyway, so I think we'll be fine going to that location for the time being. All right, guys, I see target number two, which he's kind of, uh, I don't know which way he went there for a second, so we're gonna have to go chasing him down. There he is. He's right there. He's right there. Mm, right in the butt, we got him. Nice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and skin this guy. It doesn't need to be a clean kill by any means, but if we can maintain a three-star quality pelt, that would be absolutely fantastic. Now we just got to find ourselves two more. The train one, I thought with the train one was actually going to be a lot more difficult to find because it always seems like when they have one of the train um, options for a daily challenge, it always seems like it takes absolutely forever to find a, an actual train. But then it seems like when you're not looking for them, just like every other challenge, when you're not looking for them, you can always find an overabundant amount of them. All right, so I did get myself my third deer. It took a little bit of time, but I had to wait till the morning. I decided that because it was night, it would have been a good time to find muskrats and striped skunk. And I was definitely not disappointed in the blue water marsh area for that. Uh, basically, I wanted them for the tracking arrows. Not that I really ever use them, but muskrats are a lot easier to find during the evening and the nighttime hours. So I figured I would just go on the hunt for them. And I found so many of them. Um, I think I probably found about 10, if not more, just in the last few minutes of the overnight portion of it. So yeah, I was I was pretty lucky with that. So now we just have to find our last and final deer, um, which I am heading back to our camp because I do want to go ahead and sell some of the things that I have anyway. So the thing is, oh, there we go. Oh no, that's a coyote. I was like, oh, we got one, we got one, but we don't, we don't have one. Well, there's a lot of uh, coyotes around here. What are you guys doing? Are you guys causing troubles again? Um, but anyway, uh, what we need to do is I want to sell some of my, or not sell, but donate some of my pelts that I have on my horse. I do have some, I mean, I have a lot of muskrats, like pelts and skunk pelts as well. Oh, there's a deer right there. There we go. That was a clean shot. Ooh. And it's a buck even. Ah, uh, it's only one star. I, I could have damaged the, wow, that was a quick skin. That was like the quickest one that I've ever done. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and stow that. Uh, so we got our point two gold. So that's pretty much the last of the daily challenges, except for the high hostility, which I'm still surprised that I have not received that one. So I should be getting at at some point very, very soon. And then the other, obviously the other ones that uh, we will get if when we play Showdown. Otherwise, for the most part, that's pretty it. But I think what I'm going to do is just go over the ones that are in the roles tab. Now, I know that the roles aren't the same for everyone. And I know a few people have said, hey, guy, can you focus on specific ones for roles? And it's really hard to do that because everybody's role um, objectives are a little bit different than everybody's. But there are there's quite a few that are the same. So we just have to have goods sold to a local buyer with that three times so if you don't have the trade well you, you have to have the trader profession in order to even participate with that one but you can help somebody do it if you'd like uh you have to have six perfect carcasses donated to curbs it doesn't matter what six perfect ones they are just six in general do three resupply missions completed three collectibles found with a shovel so some find some dig sites three fa family heirloom three lost jewelry uh, two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters. So we'd have, for me, it would be, I mean, that's what it is for me. But for me, I could actually go to, um, not game, think that's sta uh, station. It's right outside of Strawberry. Oh, I'm totally dr drawing a blank with it. That's not Wallace. Is it Wallace? It might be Wallace. Yeah, Wallace Station. Okay. And then we got Strawberry and also Blackwater, the ones that we could actually use for that. Um, we have to do was, I think it was two of those and, and then five bounties brought in in general. And then last but not least as bounties targeted takedown with bolas. So now the one thing that I have with bounties is it does seem like when you are in a bigger posse that some of the, if some of these don't always register. So like if your objective to the, the bolas or even like say take down a target like three targets from horseback then that doesn't always seem to work for me but i'd be curious to see if that actually works for you guys but and i was also really surprised that i didn't come across any random events in the world i never fast traveled anywhere i literally um ran from the mountains to my camp sold this train ran around blue water marsh rode back nothing nothing ever happened once in this entire video i was really kind of surprised about that um Unless I'm just kind of in a weird session, which could always be the thing. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy these daily video challenge videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.